This is an example of how to use loops to make things. And in this particular case, we're going to use a for loop or for loops to construct a full multiplication table. So the multiplication table that we're going to make is this one right here. And so we can see that uh, it's what you'd expect in an elementary school classroom. So uh, if you're learning your multiplication facts, you would think, you know, what is this number here times this number here, and it's that number right there. That sort of a thing. So we want to make that table. You can ignore this red part for now. That's going to be the next step. So first of all, this table. So as we can see, we've got 10 rows right here. And in each row, we've got 10 values going across. So let's take our first stab at it. And we're going to be using Dev C++ on a PC for this. And um, we can start with a basic template of some code. And we'll put this in here for a pound include statements. Good idea to put a comment at the top saying, make a uh, multiplication table to illustrate for loops. Now, the good thing about this being on video is if you know how to do this already, you can skip this. So in fact, what I would encourage you to do right now is Think about the code that you would write to do this. Set this video aside, pause this video, go and write, if it seems really easy, go and write it and get it to work and get it to look exactly like that. And then come back and look at the video and then compare notes and see how I did it, how you did it, which one's better and which one's worse. It's my understanding that that's how Benjamin Franklin is one of the ways he taught himself how to write. He would take a newspaper article and he would write an outline from it and then from the outline, he would write the original article in his own words and then compare the two together. So by comparing your version and my version, hopefully you can uh, learn something as part of the process. Okay, so this stuff at the end, we can just leave that there where it says ending and the system pause, so that's fine. And let's put a couple new line characters in there so our output doesn't get uh, confused with this stuff. And so my first step is to think, well, I'm going to need some sort of a for loop, such as this one, 4 into i equals 0. i is less than, in this case, it's 10. i plus plus. So there's a typical for loop. And I go through, and I put the closing brace in the right spot. And instead of i, I guess it makes sense here to say for um, column equals 0, and the column less than 10, and column plus plus. And then here we could print something out. Display a row. In fact, I'm getting ahead of myself a little bit right here. As I'm, even as I'm writing this, I'm thinking, well, I need to think about what I'm going to do first before I actually write the code. Because as I just started writing code, I realized, well, wait, what am I supposed to be doing? So I actually recommend that you would put a comment for yourself describing what the code is that you're going to do before you start writing the code. And then here we can put the statement, the print statement, and put a space between them. And the column value would go in there. And if we were to run this, it looks like. Compile and run. And we'll call this multiplication table 1. And here we go, 0, 1, well, so we see that it's not exactly what we wanted. We want it to start at 1 and go up to 10, and ours starts at 0, so, uh, but the format seems to be okay, so we can change this to start from 1 and go to less than or equal to 10. See that, uh, here we go, 1 to 10. That looks pretty good. So now that's one row, now we need to have 10 rows. And so the key idea here is to realize that since I have a two-dimensional table, I need two for loops, one for loop inside of the other for loop. Um, the other thing that I should point out is if you were doing this in strict C and not C++, you would not be allowed to say for int column like that. You would have to up here say declare variables. So for instance, if I were to take this and make a copy of this 
and save this as multiplication table dot C and then if I go up here and try and compile and run this one it gives me an error message because I can't declare an integer um, counter in the middle of a for loop like this I would have to do the following declare variables use for counting so int column and then int row which we're going to use in just a second and then down here I would take this away like that.